So we have we have Aries, we have Leo, and Sagittarius. So I'm gonna do all of you one by one. So let's get into that. All right. So here we go, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, this is interesting. You actually got a card that another sign got. I'm trying to remember what sign it was. I want to be confident and say it was Cancer, but I'm going to actually put this back in the deck because I want to make sure that this is definitely you or your energy. All right, we have to be certain because, like I said, this is the last retrograde um, of the year, actually. I mean, well, not of the year. It's the last Mercury retrograde of the year because we're going to have Venus go retrograde, Sag, okay? In December, so that may be something, you know, for my Sagittarius that was born in December, that may be something you want to look out for. Venus is going to go retrograde in the most serious sign, Capricorn, so you know love is about to take a whole completely different serious turn. So let's see, Sag, All right? We got Aries, you got Desipating, Leo, you got Bittersweet. Aries, it's kind of like you're just sitting around waiting for the perfect moment. And Leo, it's kind of like the situation is good, but then again, it's not. Like, it's bittersweet, you know? Because there's like some pros and some cons in the situation. So, let's see, Sag. Wow. Why do you keep getting cards that other people got? Like, this is crazy. Wow. Okay. So, we got Quest. Listen, we're going to get some clarity on these, okay? Because, like I said, guys, it's, it's interesting already, fire signs. Like, I'm not, I haven't gotten any red on orange yet, but this is, so it's interesting how all of these cards are unfolding already, okay? Okay, so, Aries, you're dealing with more of like, um, it's like you're waiting for the perfect moment for your spirit guides to guide you along. Um, or you're waiting for like that gut feeling. Or maybe you have been having a gut feeling about something, but you have not um, reacted on it. Maybe you have not took any type of initiative or approached a situation or a particular person about what was really bothering you. Okay? But I feel like a lot of you are like... Um, just kind of sitting back and just waiting for the, the perfect opportunity, watching the world go by. Or you may feel like the world is passing you by. Or you may feel ultimately like, you know, you, you've been giving your best, you've been paying attention to your dreams and ideas, and maybe you feel like you have been manifesting, and maybe you do feel like, well, what's the point? So maybe that is why you just kind of kicked back and not really saying much or doing much, right? But that's what this is. You got dissipating, Okay. But from what I know and from what it's worth, I do know that this is intuitive energy. I know that this is like um, your spirit guides guiding you. I also know that this is like your solar plexus as well. So pay attention to like your digestive area, your tummy, you know, um, anything dealing like from basically like under your heart and below, okay? Um, pay attention to your diet. Pay attention to what you're eating. Pay attention to what you're digesting, literally, okay? Like, so what people are telling you, make sure that you, uh, make sure that you confirm information before you lose yourself or before you misjudge someone because I got a good feeling that uh, this is one of those situations where you kind of got to go off on your spirit and allow spirit to guide you because it's definitely a situation where um, you may be a bit unsure about, okay? And this could be anything or anyone. This can be having trust issues with family, having trust issues about a particular situation like your job, or this can literally having doubts about your health or having questions concerning your friendship with someone. So, but with that, whatever this is, it's kind of like you need to take it easy, right? Like you need to make sure that you have all of the facts, and the only way to do that is to rely on spirit to guide you. The only way to do that is just to trust your spirit guides, to believe that whatever you see in your dreams, whatever you've been feeling, whatever you're really going through, okay, maybe spirit has been kind of nudging you to take initiative or to say something or to speak up about something. And maybe you have been kind of quiet and kind of to yourself lately, 
And this season, during this last Mercury retrograde, you are going to be tested and pushed. Somebody may definitely very well push your buttons or say something that they should not have said, okay? They may even act more impulsively than you. They may go out and spend extra money that they know that they could not afford, and maybe they put you in a situation, okay? This can definitely also be you feeling like, Everybody else is getting what you want, you know, and there could be some things that you need to address because apparently you want to get up and go and do something. But whatever the situation is, is definitely keeping you at a standstill, Aries. OK, so I don't know why that is, but I'm going to definitely come back and do clarity. So don't you guys worry. Leo, you got bittersweet, okay? Again, it's like weighing out your pros and your cons, you know? Okay, if I do this, what's going to happen, you know? But then again, this is a good place, this is a good company, this is a good job, you know? However, this is happening, but this is happening. I feel good about this, you know? I'm excited, but then if I let this go or if I leave this situation, then what will happen? There's, again, guys, I t I've been telling every last one of us, literally, every single zodiac sign I have been preaching this to, it is not you. Mercury is retrograding in Libra. Libra is a very indecisive energy. However, Libra also love drama. But what I love and kind of feel awkward about with Mercury Retrograde is sometimes I actually do bring up things from the past, bring up exes, ex-lovers from the past. Um, you, The good thing is you might actually find something that you've been looking for for a really long time during Mercury Retrograde. Um, you could even um, get get excited about something that is fresh or a new idea, a new perspective. The thing is, during Mercury Retrograde, we have to be careful not to rush, not to be impulsive. In fire signs, you know how you guys are. When it's something that sounds good and it's something that you're really proud of, you do not hesitate. You guys go after what you want. And while that is all beautiful and fine and dandy, you may want to be very careful about signing contracts or rushing into signing a contract. Contract. Make sure you dot your I's, cross your T's. Literally. Read every single line, every single agreement, every question. Make sure that you guys are double checking your work. If you send an email or a text message, or if you leave a voicemail message, make sure. Okay, I'm kind of getting scared. It's like I feel like I hear somebody shooting, but then it's kind of like sound like crack firecrackers. Like. This is why I hate mm, the cat out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's starting to scare me now. Whoops. I don't know. But anyway, so you know how you guys are. You can be kind of impulsive. So if I were you, Fire Signs, I would be very cautious not to rush into signing any contract, making some type of agreement with anyone. I would not say, yes, I got the 500 and I know I don't have the 500. Or I would not say, hey, yeah, you know, book, you know, book that. Or um, I wouldn't. Basically, if you can't easily replace it, don't invest it, is what I'm trying to say. Like, this is not the time to be, um, you know, all in your feelings and, you know, acting like you got it like that. Like, this is not the season for that. This is a season for us to heal, okay? Because Libra, um, even though that they're not the most emotional signs, they can very, they can be very sensitive and they don't always speak exactly what's on their mind. However, they will answer you if you ask. So I think that we need to ask ourselves some important questions, you know, how we really feel, why do we feel that way, what's truly affecting us. This is going to be a very challenging time and we have to be ready for this, okay? Sag, you are on a journey, okay? You are definitely seeking and searching for some answers. I don't know what it is. It could be self-energy, like maybe you're searching and digging for something deep within inside of you. Maybe you guys are searching for answers from your past or searching for answers within yourself, trying to get clarity about something, trying to understand 
and you know but if you look closely at this photo sag okay if you look closely at this photo you can definitely see the growth okay you guys went from this to being like that okay you're flourishing in other words okay so this quest that you are on it's like you you have so many doubts in a particular area in your life or maybe even more than one area in your life you have doubts obviously right but the thing is clarity will return to you at towards like mid-october so mercury is going to go retrograde from the end of september around the 26th 27th or even the 28th give or take a day depending on where we are all are on this beautiful planet this beautiful universe okay um depending on we, where we are is when it will go retrograde okay and then it will be there stationed for a while like it's gonna be there to like see so we have like these direct periods right like where planets go direct and even though we had the new moon approaching us on October 6th and Mercury's supposed to go direct literally like at the end of that week, like around the 10th or whatever, I will say give it to about the 15th or 16th, okay, before you really start to feel things ease up a little bit. Um, and that's really for all of us, really, in general, whether you're a fire sign, earth, air, water, it doesn't even matter. Like this is the energy we are looking at. We need to try our best to be as... Um, decisive as possible so normally Libra can be very indecisive this season you may find yourself to be very precise and very decisive and knowing exactly what you want and how you want it to be handled so there could be kind of like a, a good flip side to this okay so let's get clarity on this but Sag I would not worry because it, it is definitely clearly obviously showing us growth okay that's what i'm sensing from you and for you leo there's definitely some indecisiveness here i don't know what it is if you're choosing between different opportunities being granted different opportunities or maybe choosing between one person and the other okay but you have to go with your heart as always and you need to speak your truth who makes you feel better what company gives you better benefits or um like did you like that house better than this house like you have to speak your truth okay the, i feel like you are being guided as well but this, the, the guidance is going to come from something significant okay it's going to come from either like a really smooth sign or um pay attention to your epiphanies okay but this is definitely going to come through maybe like um a sign that's like very smooth and grounded, okay? Um, so maybe I don't, cause it's, I don't want to say air sign, but I, cause I kind of see like a wave. I don't know why, but even though I know that this is a bird, I feel like I just saw a wave. So I don't know if you guys live near water or you're gonna be traveling to somewhere where there is water, okay? Or maybe you're just feeling emotional in general. I don't know, but this is definitely a season for you to get a lot more grounded. Aries, you need to get up off the couch and make something happen for yourself because you have all these visuals and all these ideas and epiphanies um hello we have all these epiphanies and ideas and visions and things that you are having however if you're not taking the initiative and you're not getting up with the couch and not you know forget the self-pity you know you have to get that out of your mind so something is definitely or has been causing you maybe in the past is this how you were and maybe you are actually now taking initiative maybe you were feeling like you know what fuck it you know i'm tired of trying i'm tired of giving it my all um this is not working maybe you have felt like that okay and maybe now you're feeling a bit more optimistic maybe you have finally found the courage to get on up and get it together maybe you have finally went through that okay so guys take it or leave it okay but this is a general reading but we're gonna get clarity okay so this is for our beautiful fire signs aries leos and sagittarius this is your life and love energy for the last Mercury retrograde of 2021. Are you guys excited? I am. I'm very excited. Aries, Taurus. Oh, where did I get Taurus from? I was not supposed to say that, but I guess because of the... Mm, 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 mm. Talk about Mercury retrograde. Technology fucking sucks, okay? So, <laughs> Leo, you have bittersweet, right? So, you know, you obviously do need to make a decision because you're feeling really optimistic about one thing and then you're feeling really like negative and sad about the other thing or just straight up disappointed, right? 
un totally satisfied, like unsatisfied. But you need to speak your truth. There's something you need to say, and you have not been saying it. How come? So, Aries, we got your second card, okay? Instinct. Again, you're not following your gut. Something is telling you to get up and let's go. Leo. Growth, okay? I'm going to get clarity for that in one second because that did come out for another sign. So I do kind of want to make sure that that's your energy and not nobody else's. And then Sag, we have quests, all right? But let's see your second card. Let's get clarity on this. This is for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius overall love energy. This is your overall chakra energy for the last Mercury retrograde of 2021. Yep. Gratitude. Oh, Oh, Sag, is that why you guys are on this quest? You have so many questions and answers and concerns. And the answer is simple. Guys, practice gratitude. That is what's going on with you, Sag. Okay, it kind of makes sense now. There's so many brand new things that you guys could be like opening up to so many grand opportunities like so much new life a new relationship a new home it's something new and exciting that is waiting for you yet you because you've been through so much of course it makes sense why you're so skeptical it makes sense why you're like nah i'm good right or it makes sense why you kind of be on been on like defense and not really talking to people that much or maybe you kind of just been in your own little world like you've been still very humble but a lot of you still have like so much on your mind obviously okay but i keep seeing children for some reason so in both of these cards i see children so i don't know what this for some of you can represent like a significance of rebirth or like um yeah, like rebirth or newborn or being reborn. Or maybe this is like a new beginning. Because normally when we think of fertility or when we think of like new birth, okay, we talk about new beginnings or we talk about a new start, a fresh beginning, okay? So clearly there's definitely, you know, something happening, especially when it comes to children, this can be your personal children. Maybe you guys will find out that you're pregnant or maybe you guys will find out that you're having a baby or someone you love is having a baby, okay? But if not, if this is not fertility, and this is definitely growth as I already foreseen, okay? This is definitely growth, a new beginning, a new um, start, fresh beginning, okay? This is definitely you walking into a new purpose, a higher purpose. Again... I just keep seeing the word growth. And it's ironic because that's exactly what Leo got. And this card came out for another sign. I, oh, my God. I cannot remember what sign it came out for. But it came out for another sign. Okay. Um, and Leo, I just, again, I just feel growth for you fire signs. Like, I just feel like, you know, for you Aries, you know, again, you're sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting for the right time, for the right answer, when really the power is definitely all in you. You have the power to make your day, to, to break your day, okay? You have the power to set the tone. You already know what you need to do, but why are you doing it? Why are you sitting around wishing and hoping and praying or putting up some type of facade or pretending to be something that you're not um, just to please other people? You know, I'm looking at these photos in the background and it's like you're unhappy in certain areas of your life because you're trying to please people who really don't give a fuck about you when it's all said and done. If I can just be frank, okay? And this is not all of you, Aries, okay? But this is definitely for a great hands of you. There's like so many different moments of your life where you always felt like you had to prove who you are or be the best or um come up with something phenomenal all the time and life is not going to be perfect you may not always have the perfect relationship or the perfect job or the perfect uh friends or whatever but we have to look within ourselves okay if certain things keep happening to us it's a reason why these things keep happening to us okay why do we keep losing what are we doing why why are we getting so emotional at this time aries you have to question yourself because 
you gotta really look at this picture here. What are you guys seeing? If you guys are seeing a wolf, then you know that this is definitely intellectual, okay? You know that's in very high intuitive wisdom energy here. All right? There's like so many faces here, okay? Are you getting emotional? Are you seeing a dog, okay? What are you seeing in this photo? A lot of you could be dealing with a Gemini, and maybe a Gemini person will actually help you, Aries, get grounded. Or, I mean, ironically, they're not most a grounded sign in the, you know, the Zodiac. But, I mean, I guess for you it works. You know, they make you feel good. So, <laughs> they're kind of like one of your best friends aside from Libra. So, um, but some of you could be dealing with like a two-faced person. Or maybe you feel like you are dealing with a two-faced person. And you could be right. You could be right. And maybe that's why the instinct card came out. Because you definitely... And solar plexus came out. So if your crown chakra came out and your solar plexus came out, then I'm telling you, my love, sorry. I don't even got all crazy, right? Like, if your crown chakra came out and your solar plexus came out, then my love... You definitely need to pay attention to your intuitive energy, okay? Because solar plexus and your crown chakra definitely go together, in my opinion. Like, literally, like, they both, why the crown chakra represents clarity, you know, your solar plexus is giving you, like, that nudge, that spiritual nudge to kind of just go after it. So something is definitely hinting at you that you either need to stay away from a particular person or that you need to um, follow your spirit on how you feel about a particular situation or a person. You need to pay attention to your gut. Not what other people are telling you. Again, these people in the background, okay? Outside influences. Don't pay attention to what people are saying. Don't pay attention to what people are doing. You need to make up your mind about this particular situation or this person for your sake, Okay? I know it feels good when we have validation and people can say, oh, yeah, get rid of him or, oh, yeah, don't talk to her. Like, I know it feels good when we have validation, but a lot of times we really need to sit with our spirit guides and get guidance because we could be making a huge, huge mistake. So we definitely need to follow our spirit and not our heart at this time for you, Aries, okay? Now, Leo, I wanted to get clarity on this really quick and I got to hurry up because apparently Mercury Retrograde does not want me to finish this video. <laughs> passion again i don't know what's going on rejection okay so that's what you're afraid of leo you're afraid of the rejection you feel like if you are being too much of service and you're giving your all even though there is some growth here and even though you're definitely not who you were in the past a lot of you kind of feel like people will still judge you because of your past mistakes a lot of you feel like there won't be any type of um Hmm, reciprocation, okay? You won't feel like, you won't feel the, yeah, I said it right, yeah. You want reciprocity, and you, a lot of you will feel like, oh my God, what, I don't know where that word came from, but God, I mean, universe, God, thank you, whatever, right? <laughs> I'm so glad it came to me. Like, I just feel like a lot of you want reciprocation. You want to make things, oh, telling you. So, Leo, don't be afraid to be rejected because everything that you have done in the past have definitely allowed you to grow, to be successful. So, you need to utilize this to advance to the next level, okay? So, guys, I really want to continue, but I'm not going to lie to you. The fact that this shit keeps cutting off over and over is driving me insane, okay? I would not be me if I was not honest about that. Now, listen, you guys can always submit well, not submit. <laughs> it's the wrong word. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at G1 Insights. Also, follow my I Love My Spouse Butt. <laughs> follow my I Love My Spouse Butt Instagram channel, okay? Um, the links will be in the description. And I love you guys for all of your support. Stay tuned. Be good to yourself. And don't hurt nobody.